Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is The Spitfire. This is my very first ever Let's Play. This is an old, old game called Warlords 2. Anybody who's heard of it before, you know exactly what I'm getting into. Hoping to maybe find some old fans of the series, because I don't see too many videos for this game on YouTube, so I thought, why not? Plus, I'm not great at it, so this could be hilarious to watch if you know the game. And if not, maybe you'll just kind of see an old classic in action here, and hopefully enjoy it. Greetings, Warlord. That noble warrior will return from time to time to greet us and say things to us, sometimes taunting, sometimes encouraging. Let's get right into the meat of the game. I, my hope for this video series uh, is to record and play maybe 10 turns at a time or go 10 minutes at a time. I don't want to take too much of your time up. But at the same time, you know, I want you to enjoy the game without it being too fragmented. So we'll see how this first video goes. I'm thinking maybe only five turns plus setup, but we'll, we'll play that by ear. We'll see what gets going, see what we like. But let's stop talking about it and let's start doing it. Warlords 2, let's play my very first ever one, unedited, uncut. You are seeing my reactions and hearing them raw, live as they happen. You aren't really seeing them. If you are, that's kind of creepy going to be doing a random map game as you see the options allow us to kind of customize the random world that's going to be t generated, the terrain, this is all pretty standard, 80 cities, 15% forest, hills, I'm going to turn the water percentage down a little bit, I'm also going to turn down the cities to make it a smaller type game because I'm not sure how long this is going to go, this is going to be an 8 player game, there will be 7 bots and myself, I use a random method to determine who which slot? Let's check that out now. Prepare thyself. I am prepared. See, like I said, he, he tends to advise you and greet you, and you never know what he's going to say. Unless you've played the game before, you probably know what he's going to say. So the new random map is being generated. We'll see what the eight factions are and where we fit into that, as well as who we'll be facing off against. Lots of depth in this very simple looking game. You know, graphics aren't everything. I, there's no controversy about that. There's no real case to be made about it. Alright, there's our eight factions. I rolled an eight-sided die, basically, and every time I rolled the same number again, I, I moved up to an unoccupied number, and by using that method, I was able to choose who I'd be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it looks like today we'll be playing as the Looks more like a lighter red and orange army is the role I, I got today. So we'll want this set up as the humans. They kind of have a red crescent and they're originally posted as the goblins. Oh, we'll, we'll go with the goblins. We'll be the goblins today. Why not? Goblins. Rawr. So we need to make sure that's set at human and let's set our bots up. You have three settings for bots, Knight, Lord, and Warlord, and so I decided to go three for at the Knight level, three at the Lord level, and one at the Warlord level. Not that it's necessarily too hard, but just to kind of give the game a little variety. So our first group here, the white team, which will be the Guardians, uh, they drew the Knight difficulty. The Dark Elves will be our biggest challenge as they got the Warlord difficulty. Frost Giants, that's a cool name. They, they only got the Knight difficulty, so they shouldn't be too tough. The Amphidians, that's a fun name. They will also be at the Knight level, we'll see how that goes. The Dark Dwarves will be a bit more of a challenge, as they are at the Lord difficulty. Oinland will also be at the Lord difficulty, and as you've also figured, Deathmasters will be at the Lord difficulty. set. Let's start playing and we'll maybe look at these options real quick. Diplomacy is off. Hidden map is off. View our enemies is on. Quick start is off. Neutral cities will have an average. You'll see kind of what this all means as we get into it. Alright, I think we've got everything all set up. We've dallied long enough. Let's play. Let the war begin. The war shall begin. The game is setting up. And we'll see what happens. Being the seventh player, I won't even be moving first, so you're going to see a barrage of activity as the bots maneuver about their turns. Looks like I'm going to be fourth, actually, if I'm seeing it right. 
up in the upper right corner you can see the turn order and I see our red crescent C I should just say red crescent or a red C a red with a red border white C whatever you want to call it we're going forth that's what I'm trying to tell you the music has gone oddly quiet I chose to leave the music in even if it cuts into my own voice a little bit the music's more interesting than my voice in my opinion but it's it's just got a fun flair to it that I thought worth keeping in and I'll do my best to talk over it I'm a little soft-spoken so again we'll see how this goes first time for everything enjoy the ride free shawarma at the end okay that's a lie Alright, you're seeing the computer teams making their moves here, some initial expansion, conquering of cities. This is a real-time, not a real-time, I'm sorry. This is a turn-based strategy game, a grand campaign scale. Goblins, it is time for turn one. You see these very goblin-looking guys here. The game keeps pretty simplistic, you have to use your imagination. So we have a hero. First thing we want to do is set our hero, and we are goblins, so... We need a goblinish name for our hero. We're going to name him Thok. You know, you put your Thok on and you go out and you conquer in the name of the goblins. So he's going to start here at the city and let's see what our production choices are for our city. We have light infantry, a decent strength there, strength number, decent movement. We have orcish mobs, which would fit with the goblins very well. The icons at the bottom there mean they have a movement bonus in hills and forest. I believe that's what it means at least. We have heavy infantry, stalwart defenders, good strength, and our main unit that we'll be using the most here, the elephants, strength of eight, take four turns to produce, that's what the time means. So we're not going to make them initially, we want to just get some heavy infantry to guard our capital town of Tarius. Not really a goblin sounding name, but we'll roll with it. Alright, so let's kind of form our plan and see what we have around us. As we can see, uh, this map over here, that's where we're located. The nearest players appear to be the Deathmasters here in Selrin, and the light blue team, which name escapes me right now, the Oinland. They can make Minotaurs, that's good to know. Minotaurs will be tough. But those appear to be the two in their capital. Exynia? Yeah, your guess is as good as mine. Alright, anyways, so those are the two uh, opponents that are closest to us. They'll be our biggest threats in the early game possibly. Uh, we're going to just look to do some basic expansion and kind of start our empire strong. And to that end, as you can see, there are several neutral cities to the south, ripe for the picking. There also is an ancient temple right there. That'll be worth visiting with our hero for some good rewards. But we're not going to focus on that right now. We're going to focus on some of these cities down here and kind of start our campaign there. We start off the game both our hero and an elephant, and you'll see what all they can do. We're going to move our hero down here, and if you have children, you might want to have them leave the room if they're watching this video. This combat is very gruesome. You're about to see the realities of war, folks. Alright, Thok has won the battle and captured the city. Thrikalnan? Yeah, try and say that name. Thrikalnan. I like it. Kalnan can produce light infantry, so we'll begin that production immediately. And we're going to have Thak... You know, why not? He's going to head up towards that temple a little earlier than we initially planned here. Now we have our elephant. Our elephant is very powerful, very fast moving. He's going to march down this road. Uh, movement costs less as you're going down the road, and he's going to invade this city. Oh, it's gruesome. I, I almost can't watch. He has occupied this city. We're going to capture it for our own purposes. And this city has the option to make light infantry, or again, the orcish mobs. As we can see, the surrounding terrain is mostly plains, but as we start to expand out farther, we might need the orcish mobs' movements. And the strength is the same. But actually, let's start with light infantry first, just to get some quick defense going in the city, because the elephant is not sticking around. Alright, that's our first turn. Let's see what the other players do. The 
Dark Elf just visited a temple there, as you saw. The Amphidians expanding out. The Oinland moving out. There's their hero. And their Minotaur. The Deathmaster. Guardians take a naval invasion for their first expansion. The Dark Dwarves moving out with a Pegasus there. Not a Pegasus, a unicorn. They are both in this game. You'll see the difference. Goblins turn two. Here we go. Our advisor is nowhere to be seen. Let's hit the enter button, see which unit it gives us first. There's our first light infantry. We are going to assign him to defend this city. There's our beloved hero. He is going to move up into the hilly regions. He's not going to be able to make it in this turn. That's okay. There's light infantry for this first town. We're going to assign that to defend. And the elephant is going to get back on the road just in time to attack this city. Cover your eyes, kids! Oh! Oh! He has won the city. He shall occupy it. I forgot my challenge of reading the names. Thrick Thrick Thrictus. All randomly generated. Have no control over that. I just figure you might enjoy me trying to pronounce it. We'll be producing heavy infantry to defend this city. And the elephant is going to continue his march southwest towards those other neutral cities. Our hero being the only unit left who still has movement points, but it costs too much to move into the hills. Let's go down here. As we said, we are going to double check our city's productions and only get a few base units before we start producing the better ones. So we'll give a few more light infantry in the town of Zientin. That's turn two for the goblins, a little slow in the expansion. But I think we'll be okay. We've got lots of room to work with. Kind of follow the bots a little bit, see how they're expanding up. Peter the Sky, I like that name. Oinland expanding rapidly. The Deathmaster is getting their start. We might clash sooner than I anticipated. We'll see what happens. Goblins turn three. Here we go. Alright, no message from our overseer. We now have two light infantry here. We're going to click that, which groups them together, and again, assign them to defense. That is what we want them to do. Hey, our first heavy infantry is here. We're going to assign him to defense. I'll come back to my hero in a second. We just want that initial one heavy infantry right now. And we're going to shift production over to the war elephant, because I think we're going to need it soon. All right, come down to this city. Group them together and defend. Speaking of war elephants, there's one right now. You'll notice a little bit of his movement that he didn't spend last turn, his bank. He has 17 movement points instead of 16 this turn. We're going to move him west and begin this campaign against these neutral cities. Looks like we'll be hitting that one turn four. Our hero is going to begin his quest across the... Was these hills or mountains? Hills, duh. Mountains are right there, only for flying armies. So as he's going across the hills, he moves a lot slower. He'll probably make it to that temple next turn. That will be exciting. It looks like time-wise, this video is already going on a little bit longer than I originally anticipated, so we'll probably be calling this one at turn five. That'll give us an idea of a start. Kind of get your feet wet for a taste of what this game's about. But then the advantage there is as we begin episode two of this Let's Play, it'll be all meat. We'll be just straight gameplay and... That'll be a lot of fun. The Deathmaster beginning their naval expansions here. They could choose to go north. We might not have to deal with them as quickly as I thought. The Guardians advancing a little slow. The Frost Giants. Looks like the biggest threat are the Dark Dwarves. They've already expanded very rapidly. Very quick, very gutsy, using light infantry. Turn four for the goblins. Here we go. Let's see what we got. All right, this city has got more infantry. We're going to add them all together. Have them defend. Our hero is going to finally make it to the temple. 
So we come up here, we click on Hero, and we have him inspect. No, we have him search. Ancient Temple. Thou can be blessed or receive quests. What dost thou wish? We want a quest. Thou shalt conquer the city of Imritel, then burn it to the ground. It can be found to the southwest. That is Thok's quest. It is for him and him alone, so he is going to... Oh, where is he going? That is not what we wanted him to do. As you can see, I don't necessarily know this game, so we're going to kind of cancel that movement there. There we go. Much better. I think I tried to go into the ocean there, and it kind of... That was funny. Anyways, let's see what else we got going on. This light infantry, we're going to have them selected as a group. We're going to have this city start making orcish mobs for ease of access and movement. And this group is going to be selected again. Whoops, I'm doing that wrong, as you can see. Defend! Defend! Alright, that is not the city that he wanted us to take. There it is, right there. So this elephant is going to move here. Attack! We have taken the city. The city of Pasvar. It is ours, we will occupy it. They can make orcish mobs, so we'll get them started right on that. In the future, should we wish, we can spend our money and have them produce other units, but we'll be okay for now. And we're going to move the elephant southeast towards the city of Thrikus. A lot of TH names here. That's okay, though. It's fun. Fun to pronounce. That's the end of turn four for the goblins. Ooh, the Dark Elves hero has been spotted and moving. The Amphidian's hero, he's visiting some ruins. Oinland moving around a little bit too. They're expanding rather quickly. I still think the Dark Dwarves are the biggest threat initially, but we'll see what happens. You never really know. A thing a lot of people would do in this game while they're playing is they would save before a battle, and then if it doesn't turn out the way that you want it to, you reload, and you keep doing that until you win the battle. I will not be doing that in this Let's Play, so if I lose a critical battle, I'm going to be in some big trouble. We hope that won't happen. We'll see, though. You never know. That's the beauty of a game like this. Guardians not quite going the direction I thought they would, but then again, I'm not sure where I would have them go were I playing them. Ooh, Frost Giants declared war there and lost. So the Dark Dwarves, Dark Dwarves and the Frost Giants might be at war here. Hard to say. The Dark Dwarves are still focusing on expansion. Turn 5 for the Goblins. Ah, the expectation of a coming battle. Yes, we know war is coming. It is intimidating and scary, but we are ready for it. In the interest of time restraints, this will be the last turn that we are doing in this video. It's already gone a little bit longer than I anticipated. But again, like I said, I feel like we've got everything set up. We've got our feet wet. We're ready to get right into it next episode and just have fun that way. Elephant will continue to expand for us. The city of Thrikus is ours. Thrikus can produce light infantry, so we will have it doing that. And we'll continue to move southwest towards the next city. Oh, we have enough to take it this turn. Two cities in one turn. The elephant prevails. We have taken the city of Narlabolt. That's kind of a fun fantasy name. Narlabolt. Narlabolt can produce light infantry and orcish mobs. We're far enough away that we'll work on the mobs. They can be produced in one turn. Oh, this is a good city. And the elephant will continue his quest. That looks like everything that we can do this turn. We'll focus back in on our capital city here of Tarius. We'll save the game. You'll notice there's already a LP save for Let's Play. I initially tried to record this once. The video went a about as long as this one did. And then I ended it and closed the game only to find out I hadn't been recording at all. So that was rather humorous. 
Thank you for tuning in to episode one of Let's Play Warlords 2 with myself, the Spitfired. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm open to comments and suggestions. Like I said, this is my first time doing this, and if there's a way I can improve it, um, I'm open to listening to it and seeing what I can do to help you enjoy this video more. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time on episode two.